called Helen Dovoa. I head Uganda Community Tourism Association. What we do is uh, we promote community-based tourism in Uganda, helping communities to get involved in tourism. And these community enterprises are either uh, owned by individuals or uh, groups. Uh, the enterprises vary in sizes. We have the very micro ones at grassroots level and we have the bigger ones owned by individuals with a bit of capital. And uh, we also have um, specialized tourism like agro-tourism, sport tourism, volunteer tourism and so on. Anything can be community tourism provided this well packaged. Our community tourism like any other tourism has been badly affected by the COVID-19. Uh, there are no tourists at all as I talk now. Even the few Ugandans, due to the high cost, they, cannot, they can hardly travel to the, all around the country to visit. And actually, uh, because the income of most of the people has been affected, spending on tourism today is a hurdle. It's not almost thought of. People are thinking about survival. So going for luxury is not an option today. So very limited tourists have visited. It has affected the community in terms of employment. Many of them that were employed within the tourism sector are back home seated. The income that they got is no longer there. The facilities that they run are getting ruined because of uh, limited management and demoralization. It's very bad. The SOPs for the tourism sector are out. And uh, because many of these uh, community-based tourism enterprises are pretty small, we have to customize those SOPs to fit them. And in addition to that, we have to take the initiative to train them. Because many of them are not very exposed, they need a lot of training. So we need to get down there and train them. And also, uh, actually, because of the low income or no income today, they don't have the money to implement some of those SOPs. So they need external support. For example, like uh, buying them personal protective equipment, uh, the temperature guns, the sanitizer dispensers, and all that. They need some support because they've really spent everything. Uh, also, I think we have to look at, um, like any other uh, player in tourism, we are looking at visitor numbers. But this time round, I think, we as a country have to look at an all-inclusive marketing strategy whereby even these very small enterprises are included because in most cases they are excluded. We look at the big uh, tourism products and leave out these very micro ones. But if we are talking about the grassroots community tourism, tourism trickling to the bottom of the pyramid, then there, it must deliberately be done to ensure that it is inclusive marketing. Inclusive marketing is very, very key in this aspect. And also, I think we have to customize the products. Do a bit of research. What is needed in domestic tourism? Because we are very different people, by the way, in Uganda. Uh, what are our interests as people? Many of the people, unless you spice uh, the game tourism, they will not feel like going there, even with the little that they have. So we have to customize, build it to ensure that we pick the interests of the Ugandans, to encourage them to move around. Ugandans love um, parting enjoying themselves, traveling and doing uh, things, bringing celebrities. 
and also with the celebrities they have to be um, given a brief of how to conduct themselves how they have to play uh, the role of ambassadors because many times many times we use them but we do not actually uh, ask them to do what is expected of them when they come back everything is is gone so we have to customize and ensure that whatever we have is included within the package of domestic tourism. The culture tourism that we have here is nowhere in this world. Everywhere is different. Every after 100 kilometers is a different culture, which we actually look at in community-based tourism. So we have to customize it and ensure that the Ugandans really love it. Uh, blend it with parting, blend it with spiced movements and everything. I think things will come out proper. Yeah.